Welcome back, um, to the layout again, um, so a couple things has changed, not really, <laughs> I don't know, um, so in this corner, I got, the, we set up this caboose, um, put a track on it, and, um, I was thinking of adding, like, a extension here. So I can put this track on and then put the steam engine on. And then also what I did, um originally this Union Pacific was um had a knuckle hook. And then yesterday I changed it so now it's um one of these couplers here. Same. I don't know where you set you guys at. kind of works. <laughs> I don't like it though, but it works.
Okay, this strain um, here that's passing by right now has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Fourteen cards, and the other one ha only has four. And that, that's. I'm also counting the endings too. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a bridge right there. I ain't completed yet obviously, but Then an inch or so, half an inch, quarter inch? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, hey, um, it's kind of a mess right now. I'm moving everything around to get to the back and get that done. Oh yeah. When the train comes around, watch how close it is. That's close. This is the steam engine I'm going to be putting on the train. Yeah. Okay. The only nickel plate road steam engine that I've seen in real life is the 7... 770 or uh, 765, I think, or some. Um, but the two, um, because there's two wheels in front. Um, but the 284, because there's two wheels in front, eight in the middle, the drive wheels, and um, four wheels in the back. If you count the tender as the whole thing, it'll be two, eight, four, six, six. Yeah. And it doesn't run though. Yeah, it's just a dummy. Because if it was real um, and it could run, I wouldn't be able to move the wheels. They'll be like stuck. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But yeah, if it moves. So it's a dummy engine. Yeah, 
you can see right through it. But yeah. That's the inside. Yeah. I don't know what's inside this tender. Weight or something. Um, yeah, there's three wheels. That type of coupler. I kind of hate this type of coupler. But also kind of like it. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys prefer more? The horn hook couplers, which are these type of couplers, or the knuckle couplers, which is like more realistic because that's what they are in real life. But yeah. Alright, today I was supposed to do a live stream of me playing the guitar, but I changed my mind. But, I'll give you this instead. Trains. Power lines in the back. one long train. But it does kind of struggle. The train engine does struggle a bit in the back because uh, <laughs> it's like kind of not level. And these, these passenger cars are causing those problems because they had metal wheels, um, so every time when they were on the track, juice were co was coming down the track, and th when the main train, were, the train on the main track came through, it kept cutting it, cutting out, so it kept going slow. So, I decided to cut it right there. So the juice stops right here, so I can't go through any more any more than that. So yeah. But yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that coupler I that I have on that Union Pacific, I took it from this same fan engine, so now it's couplerless. So it doesn't have a coupler in the front, and it does have a coupler in the back. So it's point. 
so it's pointless now and useless. Yeah. Um. Hey, these pieces of track right here, what we're holding them down for, um, were tiny little spikes that hold the train tracks in, in real, in, like, the bigger ones. <laughs> yeah. I have, a, I have a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah, I don't really like these types of track. Because, you yeah, see, there's a spike right there. Yeah, yeah there's one. right here but um yeah because these types of tracks they always give me problems because I used to have one like the I have to I used to have a lot like these and had like a like a track going on the floor up in the ki um in the kitchen and it kept kept making the train derail See, and that's how I, we go with the, that's what I usually go with these types. Because you don't, because, because there's like more base to it than just having these flat on the ground. So, yeah. And plus you have to make sure like they're even and stuff and then make it so that it won't derail the train. Um, but yeah. Hey, these are the cars that I don't use. And we have leftover track. So, yeah, once we get the new train, hopefully, because, um, I'll, I'll, because I'm getting a new train, I think. I don't know yet, but um, I'll be replacing that Conrail, which is actually a good Conrail. Um, yeah. I don't think that Conrail is actually... <laughs> that Conrail, I think, is really expensive. Because... The lights and stuff, it's all detailed, and there's people inside. You can possibly see them. Um, yeah, it's really detailed good. But, yeah. But when we get the newer train, um, I think in NS with three wheels where people We'll be putting it on the main line, or I'll be putting it on the main line, and putting that corner on the middle line, because the uh, main line is probably like bigger trains, and the middle line is like smaller trains, like local type trains, and the main line would be long trains like this. So yeah, um. Bye, mate. I'll see you all in the next. I'll see all you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And if you also want to see the final version of it when it's all complete and 
all the houses and buildings will be here. And we have the bigger train on the main line. Um, yeah. Wait. If anyone knows, like, a lot about, like, DCC and, like, DC, can you, like, um, write down in the comments and tell me, like, if DCC can actually run on this type of track? Because I think this is DC track. Because that's, like, the controllers. Um, but yeah. What I've seen on on the internet is that you can run DCC on the on DC track, but I'm not completely sure. So, if any of you out there know um, more about like DCC trains, um, please tell me because I would like to know <laughs> before I actually go and buy a DC street DCC train and run on the track and find out it doesn't work. <laughs> so yeah. And I know you can run two trains on the same track at once, but not that well. Because I tried put in this train up front, try to run that Union Pacific in the middle of these two, and it, it didn't go out well. It kept derailing down there by the S curve. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, I mean, I've been running, well, when I, when we used to have the train set upstairs, that's now gone, because we're building a new one down here, but when I was running upstairs, I was on the Conroe and the Santa Fe one, and they were doing fine, but they were facing the same way. So I think you're gonna. Have, I think I'm gonna have to face them the same way so it can work better. So yeah. Well, anyway, um, see all you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, which I always said, but really, you have to subscribe. <laughs> um, and turn on that post notification. Well, hit the bell so you know when I upload. And, yeah. Yeah, see all you in the next video. And, and, hold on. And, bye.